Bon Jovi on a night like this. A live performance recorded from the band. My name is Sean Morrison. On this live performance, the band performed the entire 2020 album. All the 10 songs that were on the release, not the bonus tracks. Also, they did not perform them in the order that they were on the album. Not that that matters. It was nice to see them do this for the fans. That's my personal opinion. You know, it was live on their Facebook page. SiriusXM has it on their YouTube channel. And, you know, he's doing everything to promote this album 2020. He knows that there's not really going to be a tour in support of this. Hopefully, they'll get some live dates out of this once COVID is done. Because Bon Jovi's um, original deal with this was that you know, the tickets went on sale for, for the 2020 tour. Fans would get a free copy. With, what happened is what, there would be one free copy of 2020 with every um, ticket sale that was purchased. So basically, if so many people bought a ticket, so let's say a venue holds 20,000 people and say... The way the ticket sales went, the way the people bought the tickets, say 6,000 people bought tickets, you you know, and they would each get a copy of 2020, you would get um sales of 6,000 copies, and if you did it for the whole United States, you know my drift, and this was going to be included in the record sales, but don't worry, this Bon Jovi 2020 album will definitely come back on to the Billboard um, Top 200. Now, getting back into the live performance on 2020... They're up there enjoying themselves and everything. You know, my favorite songs of the album, Let It Rain, Limitless, Unbroken, Brothers in, Brothers in um, Arms. Those four songs are fucking excellent. They did, of course, like I said, they did the whole 2020 album. American Reckoning, of course, is the song about George Floyd. Like I said, it, I can't really listen to the song because it's too hard to listen because of the lyrics, but you know the reason why the song was done. I'll, I'm going to just leave it like that and hope you guys are, on, on, respect respect that as well. Um, Lower the Flag, non, another good one. Of course, that's about all the, all the mass shootings going on in America. And I um, appreciate Mr. Bon Jovi for um, doing a song about it, even though it's a sad song, but it is definitely true. Also, Blood on the Water, even though I'm, I might not have the same political views as John Bon Jovi, but others um, leave that um, leave that as well. And, you know, story of love, there you go. You know what else is on the album, if I didn't mention every song. So if you haven't watched the... Um, this, this um, John Bon Jovi, I mean, this Bon Jovi um, documentary, definitely um, give it a watch on a night like this. That's what it's called, the Bon Jovi document, documentary, and it was done in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, David Bryan, the keyboardist, um, still not making live appearances. Previous videos, I mentioned that apparently it's because he's working on a Broadway play. But, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, the band went up there, performed the songs off the album, and they're going to continue to promote this album as best as possible in the circumstances. The album did be debut at number 19 on the Billboard Top 200. I still think it's a good album. I'm not saying it's the best. I'm not saying it's their worst, because it's definitely not their worst. I'll, I'll, I'll give you that for sure. And, you know, he doesn't need Richie Sambora in the band to make good music. So give it a listen to the Bon Jovi documentary. Live, it was performed live on a night like this. The band performs the entire 2020 album. It's not in order, but all the songs are there. Give it a listen. It's on his Facebook page. It's, it's on the SiriusXM YouTube channel. By looking up Bon Jovi on a night like this. Give it a listen. What do you think, friends? Mr. Morrison enjoyed it, though. He'll tell you that. And how do you feel about it? Bon Jovi on a night like this. Shame. Shame. Shame.